Here we're going to focus on the knit stitch. Here's an example of knitting every row. So we're going to knit right-handed. I am going to, and basically when you're knitting right-handed, you're taking all the stitches from your left needle and you're putting them on your right needle. So what we do is we go into the cast on with our right-handed needle. I have the yarn over my index finger and under my pinky. Um, you don't have to hold your yarn exactly that way. Some people like to hold them, the yarn like this over the index and over the ring. I just like to hold it with my pinky. But what makes it the knit stitch is that you're going in and you wrap around the yarn around. It's going in a counterclockwise. You bring the needle through the loop and then you're dropping that loop off of the left hand needle. So from here we go into the stitch. We have the right needle behind the left needle. We wrap counterclockwise around the needle, bring it through, and drop off. So we go in, around, bring through, drop off. 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 Two more. Here we go. I only cast it on 15 stitches because I wanted you to see how we turn a row. So there we hit the end of our row. We flip it around, put it in our left hand, switch needles. The left needle goes in our right hand. Then we go in from the left hand side of the stitch. We cross that right needle behind again. We wrap it counterclockwise, bring it through, and drop the loop off. So it just starts over. Simple as that. It's the same thing you did the first time. So we're going in, around, bring through, drop off, in, around, bring through, drop off, in, around, bring through, drop off, in, around, bring through, drop off. And your yarn will always be attached to the last knit stitch that you did, or the last purl. So if I drop my yarn, the yarn will be on one side. The side that the yarn is on is the last stitch that you knit. So if you ever pick it up mid-row, the side that the yarn attached to will be going in your right hand if you're a right-handed knitter. In, around, bring through, drop off. And I will switch rows one more time. So now that I'm done with the row, needle goes to my left hand, and the left hand needle that was empty goes to my right hand. I go into the stitch one more time, and there we go. In, around, bring through, drop off. I split the yarn there. I'm watching through the camera to make sure I don't go off screen instead of looking at my hands. It's kind of odd. In, around, bring through, drop off. In, around, bring through, drop off. It's important that you are wrapping the yarn around the same direction each time for consistency. In, around, bring through, drop off. 
And there we go. So that's the knit stitch. Flip it around. I don't know if any of you are still with me anymore. It's very repetitive, it's the same. In, around, bring through, drop off. In, around, break through, drop off. In, around, bring through, drop off. So this is the right-handed knitting stitch. It's known as the wrapping style or the American style. It's known as both. Um, some people call it the wrapping style. Other people call it the American style. So when you knit every row, since you're going back and forth, you're seeing the front and the back of the stitch both directions and this is what it looks like. If you were to see only the front side of the stitch it's nice and smooth. So you see little V's and the back side of the knit stitch would give you a bumpy ridgy like this portion. So um, if you were to purl a row knit a row on the purl side you would see these bumps and on the knit side you see the nice flat fabric. So um, I'm going to do a uh, binding off tutorial next then we'll do a purl video. So that's what's going to be coming up for the next few videos that I put up. And um, let me know what it is that you would like to see for knitting. I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks.